elections make a fundamental contribution to democratic governance, and all citizens have a constitutional right to participate in democratic processes in their country. This right begins with your right to vote for your leaders. Join Action Namibia coalition members on Shippy FM, Kunene Radio, Ochi FM, OFM, Omaheke Radio, Nast FM, Rapids FM, 99 FM, and Kota FM as we zoom in on access to information and elections during the month of October. Don't be left out. Tune in. As we are approaching the November's uh, regional council and local authority elections, we know that it is very prudent that voters make imperative decisions as we know that are going to uh, bring about change and pivotal uh, development in the five years' time, actually during the polls uh, for the 25th of November. Now, in the Kulene Community Radio, we also covered uh, vast election topics in regard to election in terms of registration and stuff. Now, the questions that I have for you, they're just few in terms of the, of the Namibian democracy. Now, what does our constitution say about uh, uh, the right to vote? Well, that question was actually supposed to already be thinking about when registration was there, but um, uh, of course the uh, constitution covers that and says anybody who has reached the age of 18 can register. So if you turned re- uh, you know, 18 after registration has been finished, then you can still not vote, although the constitution says that you can vote from the day that you turn 18. Mm-hmm. But because of logistical organization of the ECN, that does not, it's, it's not possible for people who, bec- who turn 18 after registration has stopped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now, in terms of the uh, access to information, which is the ATI, uh, yes. why is the access to information or the ATI important when it comes to, uh, to elections, such as this one of November? extremely important uh, because how will you know where to put your cross if you are in the ballot booth you know at the, at the polling station unless you know what these elections are all about so this year's elections uh, you know you need to know um, what is a local authority for instance uh, because we have local authority elections and we have regional council elections so local authorities, you have uh, village councils, you have town councils, and you have municipalities. And in the uh, Kunene region, you only have four uh, local authorities in this very big region of mm-hmm. yours. You mm-hmm. only have Uchu, Korejas, Opu, and Kamanyak. Mm-hmm. And uh, Uchu is a municipality, and Korejas and Opu are town councils. And Kamanya is a village council. Uh-huh. Now, Uchu, Korihas, and Oku have seven councillors. That means there will be seven people that need to be elected. And, and in Kamanya, because the village only has five. So, um, how will you know, who, you know who to vote for? Because in a local authority, you vote for a political party mm-hmm. or for a registered organization or a residence association. What is the situation in, in, in your area? You, you are um, broadcasting to Opu and surrounding areas. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Opu, do you already know who is going to field um, candidates in, for Opu? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Yes, of course. Parties? Yes, of course. Of course. They are actually, no, I believe, uh, they are not believe, but... Uh, uh, there is uh, IPC that's also launched the candidates. Uh, there is uh, the, the, the PDM, which is the Popular Democratic Movement. The ruling Swapo Party, uh, RDP, have also come up with their candidates. And there's also the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the Rally for Democracy and NUTO also. Okay. Those are the only party which are gonna yeah. contest for yeah. these years. Yeah. So it's very important for for the voters that are hearing your broadcast that they are aware who is fielding, uh, you know, who will be on the ballot paper, mm-hmm. uh, you know, which which different parties or organizations. I don't know, has Upu ever had a residence association? Uh, never, never, never since independence, yeah. never. Yeah, okay, because they could also field, um, you know, uh, 
candidates, but mm -hmm. then they have to be long time past. It's already the date has gone. Mm -hmm. Already they could have registered if they wanted to. But now that, that will not be the case. Um, and all the other towns and uh, villages and municipalities, they have the same situation that you have either a political party you vote for or an organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, what is important is that there will be a photograph on the ballot paper, but that will not be um, of a person that is living around or who. It will be the party uh, uh, president or the leader of the organization. That mm -hmm. photo will be there. Mm -hmm. And the name of, of the political party and the, the logo, not the little picture. Mm -hmm. So then they will have to vote for them. Then in regional councils, you vote for persons. So other than on your local authority, the photograph on the regional council ballot paper will not be the party president, but it will be the nominated candidate nominated by that party. So the voter will still see the logos, you know, of the different political parties as they know them, but the photograph will be of the candidate and the name will be of the candidate. Mm -hmm. If there's somebody uh, who is not nominated by a party but by by the people, like an independent candidate, they will also find an ind independent candidate, candidate on, on the ballot paper if that is the case in the poor area. Mm -hmm. Very important for a poor is that you have got two constituencies uh, that you know you had a big constituency and then it was divided into two. Mm -hmm. you Which is a poor rural and a poor urban? urban. Yes, mm -hmm. and rural. So people must be very careful if they want to, to um, vote for a poor town council, they must make sure whether a poor town, where is the, the border? Mm -hmm. So if you want to vote for a poor town council and you are in the poor rural constituency, you must make sure, you know, whether that is possible. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot vote anywhere. Last year, for presidential and, and um, national assembly elections, you could vote anywhere in Namibia. Uh, yes, in Namibia. But now, this time, if you want to vote for your town council, you have to be in that town mm -hmm. where you want to vote for. If you want to vote for a, your constituency councillor, you must be in the constituency where for whom you vote. And very important is you, people need to check their voter cards. Remember there was this long big story um, when the supplementary registration was earlier this year that uh, many people on social media said our cards are not valid mm -hmm. because it said, with local authority it says not valid. So this is only, if, if your card says, and you live in, say, Ipupa, and your card says local authority not valid, that's fine, because Ipupa doesn't have a local authority. You understand? Mm -hmm. Say Fontaine as well, as well. you know, the, the, the settlements, they are not local authorities. You cannot vote for, for, for Say Fontaine, mm -hmm. for instance. There will be no election for local authority. But you can vote for your regional council. council. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's very important for people to know. They must check their cards, and they must now already look for the cards because it's only you know about a month. Then we go to the polls, and if they can't find their their card, they can still contact the ECN and try and get a duplicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you cannot uh, register now. Mm -hmm. You can only get a duplicate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I believe that answers my next question, but uh, to continue with that, now we know that uh, we will be voting for the regional and local authority elections. Now what is the significance of regional council and local authority election in comparison to last year's elections? Yeah, the, this, this election is uh, much closer to home. Mm -hmm. You know, last year you voted for the president who sits in Ventuk in his palace and uh, you cannot actually easily um, go and visit him. Uh, this and the National Assembly, same story. These people sit in Parliament and, and you know, they are virtually out of our reach. But your constituency councillor, 
is one that, that you can approach and must approach. But I see, you know, many constituencies are very big and in Kunene the constituencies are very big. But still people need to know who stands for the candidates, you know, who are the candidates. So for you, for Kunene Radio, as soon as you uh, can, you, you, you can even contact me. On the 6th of November, the Electoral Commission must put into the government uh, gazette mm -hmm. all the um, approved candidates. So then you can get that even from the Electoral Commission's Facebook page. You can check there um, whether you can get that, that gazette. And then you can inform your people around the poor who is standing with, you know, where, uh, uh, in, so that they know who they can vote for. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, because it's very important for, for community radios to, for instance, invite those candidates so that the people can... Uh, can know, get to know, know them. Get to know. Uh -huh. And it's something that we're also busy with uh, currently. Uh, you, are, you are busy currently to, to introduce the introduce, candidates to your listeners. Yes, to the listeners, giving them the platform, giving them airtimes and stuff. Very it's really for the local authority. Yeah, that is access to information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. well done. Now, another question also that I have before I uh, before we, we conclude this. Now, in terms of access to information, uh, how prudent is access to, to information in terms of assisting uh, citizens to cast an informed vote? Yeah, you see, that is the, the main thing is you, you need to know who are your, your um, uh, uh, who will be on the ballot paper or who are the parties and behind the parties who are the candidates. Because for local authorities, for instance, these people, you need to put people there that understand how to run a local authority, that, that, that have your interest at heart, because these people decide what will be the cost of water, what will be the cost of land, will there be land, who will get land, will there be housing, who will pay for the housing, what will be the, the taxes on, 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 on land, uh, you know, in town. So everything, the water, electricity, where the roads are built, what, you know, what you have to pay and so on, this is what these people are deciding on. So you need people there that will deliver what you want to be delivered mm -hmm. um, and, and you need to know these things and also have access, for instance, to the meetings of local authorities. If you have had people there who blocked you always and didn't give you answers, then they shouldn't be re-elected. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, another question also. This is uh, in regards to, to November's election candidate. Uh, if we can date back with the announcement of uh, by the ECN uh, on the registered uh, candidates that, uh, that, uh, that want to partake uh, in 25th November's Regional Council Local Authority elections. I think it's, it's, the, the country has, uh, has hit a bar of, of uh, I think it was around uh, 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 93 to 90 something uh, independent candidates were introduced to this year's elections, yeah. including other political parties. A number so significant, a number so unbelievable. Uh, do you think that uh, the, 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 uh, all these uh, candidates, especially the, 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 the independent candidate, uh, what is the motive behind them wanting to become councillors or wanting to become leaders at this stage? Yeah, I mean, they, they will have their own motivation. Uh, uh, it can either be that they really want to bring change, that they really want to, to serve uh, the people who are going to vote, or it can be that they feel they are blocked inside their, their political party and they will not get a chance to be a, a candidate. There might be infights in the political parties and then these people decide we go it alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is it wise? Is it a wise idea or is it wise enough for a country of such a, a population of this uh, magnitude of Namibia uh, to have uh, uh, a vast number of political parties, of mushrooming political parties and this uh, great number or huge number of independent candidates? Yeah, you know, the, the more candidates you have, the more parties you have, the more you split the votes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you uh, refuse to work together, you know, if, if, if all these many parties could at least decide, okay, and I mean, there is, for instance, a, uh, a already agreements between the affirmative positioning and... And independent uh, candidates. Yeah, and also with the PDM, uh, you know, so they are already starting to, to say, okay, we 
will not stand in this constituency. We, our people will su support that political party or, or organization. That's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Forming of coalitions. Otherwise, um, there will be no change. You know, you, you, you will lose. If you have, you know, one party having had last time 80% of the votes, and you have now uh, many little uh, political parties or um, independent candidates to go for the 20%, then the, the chances of the, the party that got 80% uh, are bigger. Although people have also, they are moving. You know, you know people, the young people especially, they are not as loyal mm -hmm. to their political party as the older generation was. They are, they are moving. If they see, okay, these people look like they are going to fight for our issues, then they move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elections. In the United uh, uh, Nations supervised elections, Swampo also didn't get two thirds majority. Mm -hmm. So this time is the first one uh, last year where that happened again. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again, Kerala. But we'll get back to you in terms of uh, uh, the election prediction or the outcome of election before the 25th of November. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that will be good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.